I never imagined I'd be able to make a living as an artist, let alone one living in Beirut. Growing up in Nashville, Tennessee, I had a pretty misguided perception of the Middle East. In reality, uh, Beirut couldn't be a more nurturing environment for an emerging artist, uh, being full of so many young artists eager to share ideas and with plenty of art galleries to exhibit in. The scars of a 15-year civil war and periodic invasions are still evident throughout the streets of Beirut. But Lebanon has a recorded history dating back at least 6,000 years to the Phoenicians, and the culture has survived and evolved through countless wars and invasions, from Alexander the Great, the Romans, the Crusaders, and to even recently with their newly created southern neighbor. Despite frequent threats to peace, they continue to create, rebuild, and thrive. In university, I studied international business, expecting a more conventional career path. But during a semester abroad studying in Damascus, Syria, I quickly fell in love with the humanity and generosity of the Arab people. It was here in Damascus I studied Arabic calligraphy and became fascinated with and inspired by this ancient art form. A result of deep spirituality and more than 1400 years of continuous dedication and development, Islamic calligraphy exists as arguably the most beautiful form of writing ever created by man. So for me, working in Arabic calligraphy is an ideal way to celebrate and appreciate the Middle East and Islamic culture, at a time when Western misconceptions about the region come with dire consequences. Daily planned power cuts, resulting from Israel's bombing of major infrastructure in 2006, are a routine reminder of the cost of war. But of course infrastructure is insignificant compared to the loss of human lives. Traveling through Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon has taught me that we are all human regardless of nationality. I hope my work will help a few individuals to humanize the people of this misunderstood culture rather than believing myths born out of yellow journalism. I could have never imagined having the life I live today, but I love this lifestyle and the freedom it affords me. My name is Everett Barbie, and I'm an Arabic calligrapher living in Beirut. <laughs>